Hello, hello, hello. There's a few things I want to say. All right, first, I don't care. I owe each and every single one of you an apology. Um, not because I suck. Thank you. I owe you an apology because last month was the first time in four years that I had missed an NYWC show. Oh, we didn't miss you. myself for two shows, and I truly thought I could fulfill that commitment, and unfortunately I wasn't able to, and for that I, I do sincerely apologize. So I'd like to address what took place in this ring last month. Somebody came out here, somebody that I consider my, my best friend, honestly, and probably my only friend. If I'm being completely honest, he came out here, and now keep in mind, this guy had a huge hand in my training. This person's one of my closest friends, someone that I, that I truly, truly believe will one day be an NYWC Hall of Famer, and he should have this banner up with the rest of them, because he truly deserves it, and his name is Blake Morris. I mean, it sounds great, but unfortunately he came out here and, and he took my irresponsibility, he took advantage of it, and he tried to slander my name, he tried to paint me as somebody who was irresponsible, he tried to hurt my career. What career? Good point. I think so too. And I just want to know, I want to know why. I want to know why. Why somebody that I, I consider such a close friend, why he would come out here and, and, and truthfully do such a thing? Because you're I mean, Blake Morris, Blake Morris, I want answers. I want to know why. I truly want to know why. I want to know what happened. I want to know what happened to the 14-year-old that walked into the NYWC arena all doe-eyed and all he wanted to do was be a successful professional wrestler. I want to know what happened to that Blake Morris. That's smart. I know what happened. Blake Morris, he let the world get the best of him. He became this washed up, miserable, self-entitled, self-absorbed asshole. You know, I have the answer. I have the answer, Blake Morris. The truth is this. The truth is, is that if you gave half a damn about professional wrestling as you did booking your five Disney trips every single year, then you would have achieved the success that you wanted so badly. You would have had the opponents that you wanted so badly. You would have been placed on the card in the appropriate spot that you wanted so badly. And what did you do? You came out here and you quit. Now listen, I understand that people's passions change. It's a, it's a tough part of life. But don't think for a second that you're going to use me as a scapegoat so that you feel a little less guilty about letting all these people down, about turning your back on the people out here and the people back there that have supported you for the last 14 years. 14 years. Unfortunately, last month I couldn't make my commitment and Blake Morris opted into taking the 10 count. And as much as I was looking forward to this match, unfortunately, it seems like I'm going to have to take the, the 10 count too.
or someone who bows to no one, you sure do spend a lot of time on your knees. Not as much time as she does, though. You don't wrestle, you don't talk. Oh, the only thing you really do is walk around like a stank. Oh. Oh, you know what, you know what? Maybe that was too much. Bam, Bam is my friend. And you know what, she is loyal to him. But she's holding him back. What kind of friend are you? And I think it's about time that he understands that. Vicky, you don't sell anything. You can't wrestle. And in a world where a women's revolution is happening, you hold women back. That's why your father won't come in here and watch you. Because you're an embarrassment to you and your family. You're just like everyone else. You're a dirty little whore.